So this video is just taking us through how to do a basic uh, uh, station setup. Um, you would need to have some idea how to use the uh, set the instrument functions, enable the auto lock mode, choose the correct prism, and the last video goes through, through those options. So once we're ready, we've got the instrument set up over a point, we've turned it on, the radio's connected, um, then these icons at the top will go solid, show that we've got a connected instrument. Then we're ready to basically do our station setup in our standard back site. So from the main map menu, we just choose measure, we choose the instrument that we're using, and normally it's just going to be a station setup that we'll be doing. We level the instrument, we choose accept. Target locked. The pressure comes from the instrument. The temperature, even if I can make a best guess, then that's better than nothing. Um, so we, we put the temperature in and then we can accept that. And then we have this split screen. So we can have the slider bar that we can move from side to side. And on the S5 total station, we'll always have the map here. On the S7 total station, then we can flick between the map and the video just with this toggle at the bottom left hand side of the screen. So here we'd normally just put in the station um, name. We'd code it according to how we code. We put in the height. It's important that we select either true height or bottom of notch. We'd recommend in the S series instruments that you always choose bottom of notch. And then often you don't have final coordinates in the field, um, but we'd always recommend that you put tem temporary coordinates in. Um, and it uh, enables something to be drawn in the map, even if you don't even export these coordinates or they're being changed later on. So we'd recommend that you put coordinates in. If you choose to not put coordinates in, then the raw data will all be stored, but you just won't see anything appear in the map. If I tick the control point option, then if I'm processing that in TBC, then it basically just uh, shows it as being a control quality point. So it's further up the hierarchy than a measured point. Um, if I'm even within Trimble Access, then it shows it as a triangle. So it's nice and easy to spot where our control points are. So once we've got our instrument um, coordinates in and our instrument height in, then we've got our backsight position. And normally if I'm doing a backsight, then I won't have coordinates for it often for a topographic survey. So I'll put in, it's a 1.5 pogo if we're using, and it's often just an azimuth that we're putting in. And generally I'm always using either angle and distance or averaged observations. Average observations will mean measurements over a period of time so we're moving slightly in a pogo then it allows me to to mean that out we're not locked on at the moment so we could use the search command so i'm just going to use the search to look for the prism and i've selected the wrong target we're locked on we see the padlock we see the um, bar coming out of the instrument and we're ready to make our backside measurement. The backside is now done and we can hit store so we can review it. Station setup completed. And we immediately see on the map our two stations that we've measured. So that is a quick video on how to do a station establishment within Trimble Access.